OK, friends. Let's take another look. Hi there. I have Carlos here to help us learn how to use six and seven as factors in multiplication problems. Say hi, Carlos. Hi, everyone. You've been learning a lot about multiplication and different factors. The good news is that you can use that information to help you solve other problems, like the ones that use six and seven as a factor. How? Good question. Let's take a look at an array to help us out. This array shows six times four. You might not know what six times four is right away, but you can use the threes facts that you know to figure it out. Take a look at how we can break up the array into threes facts. Now we have three times four plus three times four. I know three times four equals 12. Great, each part equals 12. And now we can add the two parts together. 12 plus 12 equals 24. Good. So 6 times 4 equals 24. Now that you know how to use known facts to help with 6 as a factor, how could we do that with 7 in the problem 7 times 3? Hmm. Well, 7 can be broken up into 2 and 5. Can we break up the array into 2 groups of 3 and 5 groups of 3? Great thinking. The array now shows 2 times 3 and 5 times 3. Since we know our 2's and 5's facts well, we can use those to figure out our product. 2 times 3 equals 6, and 5 times 3 equals 15. Now we can add those products together and get 21, which means that 7 times 3 equals 21. So, to help with problems where 6 or 7 are a factor, Use the facts you know. You got it. Go ahead and practice on your own, and we'll see you next time. All right, mathematicians. Are you ready? Off you go.